And hello everyone and welcome back to the third session of Working Group Phoenix. This is a Delta Green campaign being run for the gauntlet. Um, our group of agents has traveled to the city of Savannah, Georgia to investigate a brutal murder that has occurred there. Their research has shown that this murder is connected to a series of killings that have occurred up and down the southeast coast of the country and they've been able to determine that a common thread between these murders is a man named Ashland Dunwood the current CEO and owner of Dunwood Engineering and Design. Dunwood is also the um, not proprietor the benefactor for the Savannah Artist Co-op where the um, victim is an artist. He supports it heavily. He is also a member of the Savannah Epicurial Society, which seems to be connected to the murders somehow as well. And he works with the Savannah Historical Society and has been putting up a series of historical markers around the city for some very obscure um, policies for some very obscure reasons. Um, they have stopped to look at one of those obelisks, the historical marker, and have found a strange phenomena when they photograph it. It appears to be nighttime in the photo, even though it was done at the daytime. And they are now on their way to a beach house, which is connected to Dunwood Engineering and Design. It is actually owned by the um, company but right now it is being rented out to Faye Sparks, who is the chef for the Savannah Epicurial Society and who also owns a restaurant known as the Bayou Breakfast. So all of our agents are here and they are now in their cars and are driving towards the beach house. And some of them are discussing the strange phenomena they're looking at their phone where the nighttime image on the where the image of the obelisk shows a nighttime instead of a tight time. And then um, everybody's phones buzz. And you've got a text coming in from your FBI handler. I have one um, addendum. I think that um, Jean and Sharon were supposed to check out the uh, garage, wasn't it? That you were going there to check the tapes, the CCTV, CCTV um, tapes? We all it? talked mm -hmm. about that and said we could do it, but then I thought everybody was heading to the um, beach house. No, no, they were, it was uh, those two were heading to the beach house. Yeah, uh, Greg and I was like, Ah, okay. Gene, Gene was very much like, we're off chasing another wild goose chase by going to the mm -hmm. beach house. We've got a suspect who has no alibi as far as we know. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, and you, you even, uh, you know, the handler, the voice of God kind of prompted us to say, uh, how did the phone get back into the car? Ah, uh, okay. So, um, yeah. I knew we had talked about it. I didn't know you were actually moving there. So, okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. So do we want to go with, um, either well, way, we could, all of you yeah. are going to have uh, your phone buzz. Yeah, Greg's checking his phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, like I said, it's a text from your um, handler, or from the FBI, saying, please call in. Oh. oh what happy horse shit is this now? What does it say? I'm driving. It says, call in, but uh, we'll, we should get the tape. We should find out what the hell happened with this phone first, all right? Ain't like I got read receipts on. He ain't going to know I saw this. Okay. How about the other two? How about Team Beach House? I think Greg is driving, so he will probably say the same thing. Hey, Jackie, what's going on? And that's when I mutter, what happy horse shit is this? I... They want us to call in. Well, maybe we get uh, another specialist. Um, let's check out the Beach House first. <laughs> I, I, I have read receipts turned off because I don't. I don't want people to know I'm leaving them on. So, uh, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll just pretend we did. We'll pretend we didn't get it. That's the thing, right? Some texts don't come through sometimes. Sometimes they come through all at once later. We're, we're in an area with poor service. Jackie, I'm FBI. I think we're supposed to call them. And uh, You're FBI. Greg. I'm just some Yahoo they drag in from time to time. So, Greg, <laughs> you have deniability. This is my fault, right? Yes. I'm also curious what our handler has dug up. Maybe it's information. You know, maybe it's resources. Maybe I got a raise. Who knows? Curious? Greg, you saw the pictures. Are you really curious about what the FBI has dug up now? And do you think it actually has any possible bearing on obelisks that appear to be photographed at night when they're photographed in broad daylight? I am assuming you have not sent those pictures in, by the way. Are you kidding me? They'd think we were <laughs> crazy. I mean, it could be just some kind of, I don't know. I mean, we have to look at the thing again. Maybe it's just like um, your camera is not working properly. Sure. Let's go with that. It's obviously, I, I'm, I'm shooting it in, you know, I'm using the negative photo filter. So that's obviously what happened, of course. What are your, I mean, what, what is your explanation then? You traveled back in time. I don't have an explanation. I don't have a theory. I don't even have an idea. What I know is that it's weird. And although I don't want to, we should probably look at that thing again and bust it open. Uh, Greg takes out his phone and calls the handler while driving recklessly. And I start cursing under my breath. Um, you get a woman's voice answer. It is not the... Uh, Agent Jefferson? Yes, Agent Jefferson here. Um, we're supposed to call in. Yes, um, I am taking over this case from um, Hendrick um, Cotton. Uh, my name is Sonia Green. I am your new handler. Uh, you are now operating under the auspices of the Department of Homeland Security. We have determined that uh, this case you were currently own is now a matter of national security and is now being given higher priority. Nice. Uh, I have to say I uh, am really grateful that um, somebody sees the scope of this thing. Um, yes. Um, now I have a bit of an odd question for you. Um, one of you, we won't ask how you were able to obtain the photograph, had a photograph that you sent in of a map of Savannah with a pattern drawn on it. Uh, can you tell me more about that? Um, well, uh, the map is made by um, Ashland, our prime suspect at the moment, and it depicts uh, obscure historical uh, incidents like minor historical incidents. I wouldn't even call them minor. They are just, you know, stuff that happened. Two cars co collided or something. Um, we took a photo of one of the obelisks and we're trying to, my working theory is that maybe um, Ashland hit some of the bodies inside. Your working theory may not be as unlikely as you might think. Um, have you examined any of the obelisk? Um, we did from the outside. Uh, there's a plaque uh, and it's made from marble with a, um, presumably like a cement core. Hey, Jefferson, can you put this on speakerphone? Yes. Jackie, you want to say something? Yeah. Uh, who, who, who are we talking to now? My name is Sonia Green. I'm your new handler. I work for a division of the Department of Homeland Security. And, and I thought I heard something about national security issue. Uh, yes. This we have determined that this case represents a threat to 
the U.S. general population. And you're asking about the obelisks? Yes, I told you it would be a strange question. I have a stranger question for you. Um, since I'm sort of a consultant, I realize this may end my consulting. I took a picture of it in broad daylight, and when I looked at the picture on my phone, it was nighttime. There is a noticeable pause. <laughs> And when she comes back, she says, then it is very, very good that your team is on the ground in the location it is right now, because that means we don't have much time. So my impulse to get a sledgehammer to bust the obelisk open and some gasoline to burn whatever's inside is not inaccurate? That's not a bad impulse? <sighs> Normally, I would say be as subtle about it as you could be. <laughs> However, this seems to be a this seems to be a bit more dangerous. Um, to use an analogy, a circuit is wired and it is waiting for a switch to be closed. So the pattern on the map was not random. It was the pattern on the map that brought this to our attention, yes. And you all told me, you all said that's nothing. It's not a pattern. It doesn't match up to anything. Jeez. Um, can tell I ask? What, tell me, when uh, the room that you found the map in, was there a telescope in there by any chance? Sorry, I dropped out for a second. The room you found the map in, was there a telescope there by any chance? <sighs> yeah, there was. There was also a smelter. There was, I mean, he had a third floor loft in this art co-op. Had it locked off. We feigned a fire and broke in under the auspices of making sure that everybody out of the building was cleared. That's... You... That works. All right. I, should say, I shouldn't say we, I should say I. Jefferson has been doing everything by the book and has not been aware of a lot of what I've been doing. Sorry, Greg. Greg shoots your dirty look. <laughs> that is fine. Um, you say this Ashland Dunwood is the one who seems to be building these? Apparently. Seems to be doing it in this, out of this loft in an art co-op. He's throwing money at everybody there. Everybody's happy. They all say he's doing great work. And I keep seeing weird things like iron sculptures that look like brutalist architecture. And it's like, what the hell is this? Um, money will excuse a great many things. Especially... Right? Um, what is your current, what are you currently following up on? Um, the beach house, uh, and, um, face box, which is, um, an associate of Ashland. And we assume that she is, um, like also responsible for the killings. All right. That's as good a place to follow up as any, um, please. Go ahead and do that. Um, where are agents Lou and Oliver? Um, they're on the way to the um, student house garage where the, the mobile phone was found. And they want to check on the CCTV tapes. All right. Um, that is fine. Um, have them go ahead and do that. Um, if you need any legal support, as in a search warrant or anything like that, please do not go through the local authorities. We see from your list that a Mike Whitehead, who is a member of the county council, is one of your persons of interest. Um, the local authorities may be compromised. Um, 
we're reasonably sure that they are because we got in touch with a coroner who said he was told to drop it. Um, he wanted to further investigate the case and instead he was ordered to let it go, just wash it away as something. Again, I think it was a gangland hit of some sort or some sort of organized crime nonsense, which didn't, which didn't make sense for an art student. All right. So if we if we need a search warrant for a face box, we can assume we have it? Uh, yes, you can assume you will have it. Uh, this is now a federal case. Nice. So that means that if we don't have the paperwork in hand, we can just go ahead and go in? You can tell them you have it. And Understood. Refer, and refer them to me. Understood. Yes, ma'am. I like this expedition, Greg. I, I, I like that all of this stuff is being sped up now. Did she hang up? Or is she still, still on the phone? Um, she will say, proceed with your investigation as you are going. Um, when I am able to get in contact with Agents Lou and Oliver, um, I will have them to proceed to locate and apprehend um, Mr. Nunwood as a person of interest. All right. All right. We'll, we'll flip over to the um, security footage team, who is unaware that any of this has happened. You um, can get to the campus and get to the security office. Um, it's easy enough to convince the person there that, look, we're federal agents, we're investigating this, we need to... Um, he really doesn't even question you being there. It, it's a bored campus cop. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So uh, could you? Uh, I'm I'm kind of surprised local P didn't pull this up immediately, but uh, or that you didn't look at this when it was missing. She wasn't here. <laughs> yeah. No shit. She wasn't here. That's what happens when someone goes missing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, come on. Let, let's have a look, huh? Sharon, come on, you need a second pair of eyes on this. Okay. You um, can look through the time frame when the disappearance happened. A, um, you can find her car in the garage. And the, um, you find her car in the garage and you watch it through the period. About two or three in the morning on the after on the evening after her last known appearance, which means the night she disappeared, you see someone shows up in the um, enters the camera, goes up to the car. The person is wearing a hood and has it kind of, you know, pulled down. They um which, you know, it's March, it could be cool. They um, go to the car. They seem to have to look for it for a little bit, but then they find the car. They unlock it, put the keys they are using in a purse, and put it in the um, car. Lock the door and close it, and you see them wipe down the side of the car where they closed it, and then they go back off the way they came in. Is that the only camera? Because they usually have multiple angles now. Uh, that was the only one that could see the car. Okay. Cool. There's none of them leaving, showing us which exit they went out of? Um, you can look through and try to... You were looking at the car. You can look through and see if you can find them, that same person or another camera. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, give me a alertness check. All right. Let me find it. My alertness stinks, but... Uh, can I be assisting? Yeah, you're both there looking at it, so either one. Yeah. 
I've got a really high alertness, but I do think that I would be letting Sharon do the CCTV stuff rather than me. So I'd rather boost that roll. What the hell happened? Where's my roll? Did it not show up? I didn't see it. Have you um finished the modifiers, Abe? Because it won't let you... Uh, you can add plus 20% modifier, and then you click on OK. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It, yeah, it didn't... Uh... It didn't, the, the pop up didn't show up. And that's why. Ooh! Oh, critical success. All right. You, um. Wait, I have to do the part in Blade Runner. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you not only, um, see the person leave, uh, you can see enough of the street outside to see that there is a, what looks like a white Porsche sitting outside. The person gets into the driver's into the passenger seat, and the Porsche pulls away. Do we have it? Can I can I do any uh, computer foo to like zoom in on the plates? Uh, give me a SIGINT. A which one? SIGINT. Signal uh, intelligence. Yeah, mine stinks, but there we go. You have you, some. You, you definitely have the best SIGINT of all of us, Sharon. Okay. <laughs> Sigins like the hacking. It's uh, signal intelligence. It's things like yeah. enhancing video and signals. There, is yeah. there a modifier on that or no? No. Okay. How about Oops. that? Yes, you are. Hey. Able, you are able to pull out a um, license tag. Like curses! He just cut half the fucking game out. <laughs> <laughs> Good All work, right. Sharon. I, I gotta say, uh, this local Savannah PD and the campus security and everyone in here all seem to be giving the good cop, the good police of Georgia the name that they've got, <laughs> earning the good the name of the people of Georgia. You know, can't find a goddamn license plate on a CCTV camera. What the hell? Uh, you know, I mean, college cops they couldn't even get you know hired in like the local Podunk County Jail. I didn't yeah. really expect them to be able to step up on this one. Investigations are probably not their strong point. It's probably more breaking up keggers. I, I hope that the security guy, by the way, is like sat embarrassed at the back of the room while we're doing this, while we're shit talking him. Uh, uh, he's actually not paying much attention to y'all. Yeah, <laughs> and I look at him like, nice <laughs> uh, I'm going to run that license plate. Um, I'll give you three guesses. Yep. Is it uh, Thingy Dunwood? Uh, it's Dunwood? actually registered to Dunwooding Engineering Corporation. It's not registered to him. But And I uh, I look at Sharon and I go, I told you, I told you. Now we got, we you know, means, motive, opportunity. We got opportunity. Whatever the hell this is, that's some kind of motive there. We don't even need the means if, all we, if we can prove if he ain't got no alibi, it's going to tie this thing right up. Come on, let's uh, let's go find out what the bosses want. You got it. Let's go. Uh, and back in the car, speakerphone, you know, uh, ring up. Uh, FBI. I, I can, yeah. Uh, in your hand, instead of um, Haywood Cotton, a woman answers the phone, and says, "Ah, Agent Oliver, it's good to speak with you. I am Sharon Green. I'm your new handler." Sharon or Sonia? Thank you. Sonia Green. It's easy when you've got it written down in front of you. <laughs> well, no, I was, um, I was looking at Sharon Liu on my screen. Yeah, actually. yeah, no, I know. Yeah, yeah. Sonia Green. Uh, I kept doing that with Jackie, didn't I, last time? Uh, yeah, we did yeah. Jackie, Vicky last time, so we'll yeah. do Sonia, Sharon this time. Um, uh, well, Miss Green, um, Homeland Security, you say? Uh, yes, I've already spoken to Agent Jefferson and Consultant Taylor. Um, some items in your investigation have triggered an alert within our network. We now believe this case to be involved in a national security issue. Um, we are glad that you were on the ground, and since you were there for the time being, you were the one agents on the ground, and you're the agents who need to get this taken care of. All right, well, we... I mean, it ain't no mystery what killed this girl. It's a boyfriend. You know, same old story across the whole country. We got... He's the last person anyone knows that she was with. 
her movements that night seemed to correspond with him and we just pulled a CCTV camera that shows a figure in a hood dropping off the purse and the phone and her keys and back in her car uh, in a car registered to Dunwood Industries, a white Porsche. Now, I was going to... Jefferson and Taylor are off looking at some other location, um, but I was thinking I was going to take a run straight at Mr. Dunwood right now, get an arrest warrant, bring him down to the station, sweat him on some interrogation. Yeah. He'll lawyer up, usual story, but... Uh, he, you are fully authorized to go apprehend him. You were requested. This is a federal level case. The locals no longer have any jurisdiction over this. Um, but we are going to need their cells, unfortunately, to bring him in. We ain't got no interrogation room anywhere else. That's fine. All right. You're gonna make. You're gonna make the call to the. Uh... We will make that call. All right. And you got the arrest. You got an arrest warrant. All uh, the paperwork lined up. You will have one before you get there. Great. Well, that'll I, be really useful for tying up the lawyer. I have a, uh, uh, I'm going to text, because I'm NSA. Uh, I'm going to text it, and I'm like, say, uh, can we get a black site? Is that what they're called? And Hell, and I, <laughs> you're going to text that so Gene doesn't see it, right? Yeah, uh, totally. Yeah. Uh, make a bureaucracy check. Uh, they don't have one in the area. No such luck. All right, thought I'd try. They don't have. They don't have one convenient. Oh. Um, Oddly, in in, Jura, in uh, Georgia, they don't have a <laughs> discreet black site. That's what they use Belgium for. <laughs> well, at least they don't have one that they're aware of that they can give you access to right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, they're all full. <laughs> probably. Well. Okay, Mister Miss Green, uh, is our uh, our previous handler is uh, no longer part of the case? Uh, this is now out of his um, clearance. Okay. You would right. not normally be part of this case, but again, you are the team on the ground. All right. Well, uh, I guess it's nice to have Homeland Security in our back pocket. Uh, I'm not sure I quite see the, uh, the connections yet, but I'll keep you posted and... Uh, yeah, any any uh, any muscle you can bring to bear on Dunwood's holdings and assets and tie his lawyers up. Uh, well, I'm sure I don't need to tell you how much money talks in this this part of the world. Uh, we're painfully aware of that. All right. Well, uh, thanks, Miss Green. Um, and I uh, hang up the phone uh, and I look at Sharon and I say, uh, "You got a gun, Sharon?" You know, <laughs> um, I think I, did I have, do I have anything listed? No, I don't have anything listed for weapons. Do you have firearm above 90%, above base? Uh, let me look. 20% is base, firearms. I. Uh, it's 20%. Okay, no. So you're not trained in firearms, so you do not have one by default. Um, can I flash back just to the conversation with Sonia Green? And if I'd asked her about getting some uniforms to be, um, I wouldn't, you know, traditionally, I don't think a lone FBI agent would go and arrest someone without any kind of backup. Oh, you have your, um, oh, you mean, you mean some backup, not some, not an actual yeah. uniform. Okay. Yeah, Understood. yeah. Yeah, they can get uh, somebody down there. Cool, yeah. I mean, you know, I just want bodies around to not just be a random person going, mm -hmm. mm, come with me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. Uh, and I'm going to go uh, look up Dunwood's address and just go straight there. Uh, Dunwood, his official address is a mansion outside of town. That's where we're heading. Okay. Um I, uh, yeah, although actually, you know, before we set off that, I ring the art co-op and I ask if Mr. Dunwood is in. Uh, no, he isn't. He came in this morning to see if 
the fire last night had damaged anything, and then he left in a hurry. He seemed to be fairly angry. All right, well, that's a shame. Uh, then he, it, do you know if he was uh, where he was going? He did not say. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, yeah, off to the ma off to the mansion then. Uh, I do I do uh, message Jefferson to say uh, Dunwood Car at at Dorms um, arrest warrant through spoke to Green. All right. And I've just realized the significance of that name. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you, we don't know about that yet. No, you oh, don't. Wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Actually, Sharon, you do. I know about, oh, right, that's right. Uh, yeah, you uh, you look meaningfully and smug while I uh, have, I'm absolutely clueless, I imagine. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll head to the mansion. Uh, you know, park up on the road outside, uh, wa waiting for the um, the local the Savannah PD car to come, uh, and then uh, we'll head up. Uh, Sharon, you're happy to be with me or not? Uh, you know, it probably. By the way, I was thinking it was the, the pair of us go up, and the uniforms are sort of like back up the driveway. You know. Well, I'd rather not be seen. Well, stay in the car then. All right, I'll see if I can. Uh, I'll see if I can do anything from the car. Don't go hacking into any computers or anything there, Sharon. We we we've got an we've got a warrant. We've got a reason to get him in. We don't need to break into his building yet. All right, let me know. Just text me if you need something. All right. All right. Uh, you're going to have to wait a little bit for your backup to show up. Okay, that's fine. So let's switch over to the um, Beach House team. So Jefferson, are you feeling better or worse that Sonia Green seemed to think that we weren't crazy? He may not be there. He um, turned. Oh yeah, I see BRB at twelve forty-four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Should we uh, take a quick five or so? Uh, okay, it's a little early, but we can. Um, I I just see horse saying BRB at twelve forty-four. Then you get uh, Abe saying BRB at twelve forty-six. So. Okay, we'll just do a. Well, we'll take an early break then. Yeah, we okay. probably won't need all three hours today. So. Okay. Okay. And I love how you say we probably won't need all three hours. You have such high hopes. <laughs> as much as I love the roleplay interactions, could I please ask for a balance between roleplay interactions and <laughs> actually doing things? Fashion novelist well, is open. Uh, whatever it is that you you plan on doing, just doing it at some point rather than, <laughs> you know. Okay, everybody, everybody take five. And we're back. Okay. Um... So, um, back at the beach house, uh, you've heard from Gene and Sharon how the, um, they've confirmed that a car owned by Dunwood Engineering was how the purse and phone got back to um, um, Sarah's car. You also know that there were at least two people in it because the person who put the phone in the car got in the passenger seat and the car drove away. So there are at least two people involved. And you're now at the um, beach house. Mm -hmm. There is a car sitting in the driveway in front of the um, garage door. And there is a gate at the street that is closed. Um, Greg will first turn to Jackie and say, what was this? about the circuit. What, what did green even mean? Like, is it some kind of bombs? Are we not supposed to, you know, use the so, sledgehammer then? I mean, it's national security. Intent, it, the, I think the intent was fairly clear. 
when you close an electrical circuit, you can run power through it, uh -huh. right? Right, I get this. So, something about, because Sonia asked about the map, and uh -huh. then she, did, did you notice that she got a little concerned when we mentioned the obelisks and the weird photos? Yeah. She also, men she also mentioned it was the map that brought it to her. That triggered the whole thing. So, if she's saying that it's like a circuit, that means that circuit, and, and, and she's this worried about it, that means that the circuit is either ready to be used or close to it. Yeah, I get this, but what the fuck is the circuit? What, 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 where's the, the national security? There's some kind of TNT in there. Why don't they send the bomb squad there? Jefferson. Jackie. We're under DHS now, and they're saying it's a national security issue. How much do you want to know? I don't know. Aren't, aren't we supposed to find out? It's, you know part of the job description, I guess. Listen. Haven't you ever had one of those cases where you just wanted to forget it at the end and you wish you hadn't known? That you, you wish you hadn't dug as deep as you did? Maybe because you found a, like a perp that you just couldn't quite pin the crime on? You, you couldn't quite get there? Okay, Jackie, I, you know, I told you, you should have a drink, I will tell you about the incidents, and no, I don't want to forget it, and yes, I want to know what is behind it, uh, but that is beside the point. I think we go in, we, um, you know, ask a couple of questions, we get back to Jean and Sharon, but we need to have a talk about this, this is just uh, strange. Well, Jefferson, at this point... I know this is irregular. You got a spare gun on you? you got a hold uh, up piece, anything like that? He, he does the uh, opens his jacket, shows the uh, nine millimeter. Yeah. Do you have another one? Oh, Jack a spare one. Jackie, do you have above average um, firearms at sixty? Then you you can have a civilian firearm of your choice. I think at, the, at this point, you know, you're seeing like. You're showing your nine, and I'm just like, and I'll just sigh, and it's like, you're missing. Okay, fine. And I will root around in my purse and pull out a 357 revolver. <laughs> um, Do you have a holster that I can put this in? Which we're so happy that an alcoholic is carrying around. Uh, yeah, uh, um, Greg is not looking happy. You know, we are asking a couple of questions. Jefferson, we're under DHS. It's a NATSEC issue. We're seeing really strange shit that we shouldn't be seeing. I don't know if this is a problem we can shoot, but if it comes down to it, I would at least like to try to shoot it. Your phone might be not working properly. And there might be some explosive in, uh, you know, some statues around town. Don't jump the horse. Don't, sh uh, you know, go gung ho, uh, cowboy. Just relax. I've got this. And uh, Greg gets out of the car. And I mutter, famous last words. Uh, on at the gate, is there some kind of, you know, like speaker system? Yes. Or like a bat. And Greg will press this. Okay, after what seems like a oddly long time, you'll mm -hmm. get a man's voice come out going, uh, hello? Is, is, is this working? Yes, it is working. This is Agent Jefferson from the FBI. Um, I have a couple of questions. Uh, wow, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, um, uh, sure. What is it? Uh, I have to insist that we have to talk with you face to face. 
Um, give me a luck check real quick. Mm -hmm. And luck is just 50-50? Yeah, there's a button that says luck, I think. Oh, it just says it. Yeah, the um, guy comes back. Uh, yeah, they, um, th they sent me up here and told me not to let anybody in. So, um, yeah, can you get a question? I mean, I can... I'm hopping the fence. Which you can <laughs> uh, easily well... do. I mean, in fact, the gate blocks the driveway, but you can otherwise walk around it. Um, we have a search warrant, and I do need you huh? to open this gate. Huh? What? Okay. Give him a persuade or a persuade bureaucracy or law. Any of those that you feel good with. I do uh, law. Because that worked great last time. <laughs> All the things that I can take. No, uh, okay, me, look, I, 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 I need to call the boss first, uh, just to make sure it's okay, so just, uh, hang on a second, okay? How close am I to the house by now? <laughs> uh, it's 20 feet across the yard, you can be there if you want to be. Right. Um. The car in front of the garage has a decal on the side that says Eastern Horizon Security. And I'm going to mutter under my breath, sorry, Jefferson. And I'm going to shoot the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a firearms check. I, I love Will's reaction. He's like, <laughs> Will, he made it so easy for me to do this. Um, and then, uh, how? so it's firearms check. How do I do that? Do I just click the firearms box? Yeah, click the firearms box. Um, input value, and there's no modifier. Success? Okay, you have successfully shot the front door. <laughs> uh, you're using a 357, you said? Uh, yeah, so I, I kick it open. At so that point. is very loud. Okay. Very loud. Okay. Uh, strength times five check, or a strength check to kick the door open. Okay. And you said strength X5, do I need to put a modifier in for that? No, just, work, just click on your strength button and it should roll it. You quickly kick the door in, and there is a very surprised looking guy in there um, on a cell phone going, What the fucking hell? I, st yeah, I just point the gun at him, you know, standard two-hand grip. Where's Ashland? What? Huh? Where is Ashland? Uh, who's Ashland? TikTok. <laughs> and I thumbed the hammer back. <clears throat> who's, so, Ash who's Ashland? Yeah. Look, I got... I was invited. They, they just sent me out here today. What's going... Who sent you out here today? The office. They just said somebody. What had... office? I work for Eastern Horizon. I'm I'm a, I'm just a security guy, you know. They just wanted someone here today. He they said they've been having some um. He said they've been having some vandalism problems. They just wanted someone to hang around. Um. I figure by this point Jefferson has probably caught up and comes yes. to the door and is probably standing like what the fuck, Jackie. <laughs> as soon as um, Jackie gets out the gun. Greg's obviously jumping over the fence and running up to the house. Um, and he that carefully approaches Jackie. Says, Jackie, are you okay? Greg? We're expediting this. We're, we're getting... People aren't responding to, sub to subpoenas. They aren't responding to search warrants. 
Like there was a bond caliber. Funny, huh? Oh, yeah. well, you see, here's the thing. Hey, Greg this is dude right here. What, just ask, ask the dude your questions. I promise I won't shoot him any place important. Greg is moving between the guy and Jackie. Facing, Greg. facing Jackie. Everything is cool. There's no, nothing happened. We, we are all friends here, right? I understand that, Greg. We're under DHS now. We're operating under some different rules. You may be FBI. I'm not. Remember, I'm the one who will do the time after this. So, yes. we, we're just saying we're not in Vietnam. Um, sir, can I have your name, please? Uh, yeah, uh, Land, uh, Brett Land, look, I, 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 I just took this job because, you know, everything is they, they said it would be easy. Mr. Land, everything will be fine. Um, we, um, suspect some kind of terrorist, um, activity in the area. That's why, what? um, Ag Agent Taylor is, is a bit trigger happy. But, what, um, terrorist? Yes. You're the one shooting through a door. <laughs> yes, because we are suspecting some kind of um, uh, terrorist activity in the area. Um, but you, if you can confirm that there, that you're not hiding any terrorists, everything will be fine. Uh, I do need to ask you: Is um, the owner of the house around? No, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm the only one here. Look. Um, you need to, he's kind of freaking out, uh, make a human or a psychiatry or something to get him calmed down. I mean, he's had a gun pointed at him and somebody shot. That's a actual sanity trigger in the game, so. <laughs> uh, I do have psychotherapy. You were a therapist, so yeah, you should. Close, but no cigar. Okay, you can get him kind of calm, but he's not totally calmed down. You know, he keeps going, they just told me to stay here to keep an eye on the house. You know, but he just keeps repeating that over and over. Mm. Uh, and uh, Greg will talk like super smoothly. Um, we need to search the house. There's no immediate danger, but there's a potential terrorist threat that we have to address. So just relax, um, you know. And he will um, like put his arm gently on the, on the shoulder and move him to if there's the front room or something. Well, you're in the front room. If you look over at the row oh, okay. 20, you should see the map now. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Um, and is there like a bar? Normally there's a, you know, in American movies there's always a bar. Yeah, there's one of these is probably a bar. <laughs> and uh, Greg will pour uh, the security guy a drink. Okay. You can get him quieted down. I mean, by this point I assume you have sh shown him your actual FBI credentials. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and so he's going that, you know... And um, somebody give me a luck roll. Any one of you two. Uh, I can do that. I roll like crap today. I haven't made a, a single successful roll. So. I mean, if you want me to roll for luck, I can do it. It's going to be say 50, high or low. <laughs> Well, there's a luck so, button. You just have to push it. Um, I'm curious. Could you show us the map again? The... Um, the uh, the map of the, the uh, markup savannah map. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's on your your handouts. Yeah, it's in your handouts. So you should be able to bring it up as well. Um. So, uh, real quick. Are we supposed to notice that the mar the marked up map of Savannah looks a lot like the layout of this house? Um, no, because honestly, I hadn't noticed that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But sure, we'll go with that as being deliberate. 
<laughs> I mean, because that's a, that is a really, really goddamn weird layout for a house. That that is like a weird modern architecture. Um, <laughs> so um, I don't know. While Greg is calming down um, the security guy, he will, you know, signal with his eye or maybe, you know, mouth. I'll have the house. Did somebody yeah. make your luck roll? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't do that. Okay. That was that was mainly to see if one of the neighbors heard a gunshot and reported it. <laughs> but that the um, people are so rich that the the whole uh, thing is so big. Well, you're on the coast. You know, there's waves and that sort of thing. You know, so who knows? Anyway. Yeah, that's what we will say. Okay, so. Who's going to search the house, and who's going to go keep an eye on Brett here? I'll go. Well, I'll, I'll ransack the house. Okay. You see the ground floor in front of you. Um, I'm not going to bother to bring out tokens, so just um, right. indicate what area you want to go look in. Let's see. Bear so there's that. no right. basement, is there? No, there's a second floor. Yeah, I was going to say I want to hit the second floor. Okay. I don't necessarily think any of this stuff would be on the anything interesting would be particularly on the ground floor. Um, actually, you know what? I want to hit the kitchen. All right. Specifically, I want to check the refrigerator and the freezer. All right. Um, there is actually a industrial scale free, free refrigerator freezer in here. Yeah, it's you know, a big like, you would, like you would find in a commercial. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, you open the um, freezer. Uh, some stuff has been shoved aside in here because there are two what look like um, igloo coolers sitting on the bottom level. Right. I'm going to pull them out, open them up. Okay. Uh, Sanity check? Well, it depends on which one you, which one you open first. <laughs> uh, tell, give me just A or B. A. Okay. Okay. You open A. Um, there are all these um, clear plastic bags in there that appear to be full of blood. Okay. What about what's in Cooler B? Uh, now you need to make a sanity check. I mean, on the bright side of things, at least I knew this was coming. Uh, where is sanity on here? Top left. Oh, cool. You only lose one for that. Okay, so that is now down to 68. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, that's a brain. Um, how do I reduce my sanity? You just change your sanity. It's not actually letting me change it. You should be able to. Uh, you change it in the current column, not in the maximum column. Oh, okay, because what happened was, so now I see what was going on. You had... You in you uh, twisted. You got them mixed up. Max was seventy. Yeah. Current was yeah, yeah. thirty. It, it, I wouldn't worry about it because your sanity points are going to change massively at the end of this. Okay. When Saturday you put anyways. your um, when you put your thing your numbers in, it automatically calculates them on the sheet. So it probably just calculated the. I, I think it's me directly entering them. Okay. Uh, at the very start when yeah. I created it. But, Whatever. Yeah. Okay. And I will yell, because I have zero chill at this point. Uh huh. Jefferson. Human brain in the refrigerator. <laughs> well, how does the, the, the poor security guy react? Um, somebody want to make his sanity check for him? <laughs> 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 Just roll percentile that. dice for him. Um, 
slash oh. Oh, that work? Yes. And, five. and he's going, What? A brain? Really? No, I mean no, I, I don't get that. He he didn't see it, but let's see what happens to the poor guy. Uh Oh, he doesn't quite lose it, but um Yeah, you can tell him, hey, nobody said anything to me about this. They said it was just spend the day sitting at a beach house making sure nobody came in, okay? You know, okay. I knew. I don't... No worries. Um, this is probably part of the terroristic threat. Um, uh, I do need you to calm down. Uh, have another drink or another drink. Okay. And then uh, take... not taking my eyes off him and I go, you know, backwards to the kitchen and say, um, so I think this is evidence. You think? I mean, the other cooler has a bunch of blood in it, which... <sighs> yeah, I, I, I think I've this got is... bad ideas, Jefferson. None of the ideas I have right now are good. And you're going to think all of them are crazy. Well, uh, probably, Becky. Um, how are you holding up? When was the last time you saw a human brain sitting in an igloo cooler in a refrigerator? Own dry eyes. I haven't. <laughs> haven't yet. Are you sure it's human? And I just slide the cooler over to you. He has probably comes to a stop at your foot. With your anthropology, you can be sure, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I can say, I'm sure. Are you going to look in the cooler? Oh, I slipped uh, it over I... the lid off. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Well, I'm not averting my eyes if somebody, um, you know, slips over something to me. If she slid it over open, you're going to probably look down reflexively. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah, give me a check. That's not good. Give me a D6. Actually, a D4. Uh, slash. Uh, top left, there should be a little thing. I have it. Uh, okay, two. you got it, too. Okay. Uh, lose two. Let's see. Uh, because, yeah, there's definitely a brain lying there. Man, they just look like they look exactly like in the anatomy books. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> uh, Greg probably gets a bit pale, and he says, "All right, oh, don't, I think don't worry about. Don't get pale from that. The the blood's in the other cooler. Yeah, there's just about two. The there's bag. about two gallons of blood in the other cooler. All right. I mean, uh, gallons. Gallons." And the human body holds, what, six pints? Six to eight, yeah. Actually, wow. two gallons. Well, it wouldn't be two pints, two gallons. It would, yeah, that's about right. About a gallon. So. I was uh, thinking quarts, not pints. No, I was going to say, is this like two dead people, or did a bunch of people just like donate a bunch of blood? I, I was mentally thinking quarts, not pints. So about a gallon. Okay. Um. Can I text Jackie and ask how's it going? <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to call um, Sharon and Jean anyways. Okay. Yeah, I I just like text back. Found a human brain. H R U. Cool. I'll text back uh, one, like this the laughing with crying eye emoji. Um, sitting in a car, chilling. Has that backup arrived? Um, yeah, if we want to switch back over to y'all. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, okay. Perhaps I'm even on the phone with Jefferson, right? And I'm just going to say, yeah. all right, well, 
I'm going to go for Dunwood. We got that. It's his property, but we need to find out where sp- face box is. Uh, I'm going to bring him we, in, and then I'm going to put an APB out for her, all right? I think we should um, probably have some kind of, um, what's the, the technical term for the like, forensic experts coming over to the house? Yeah, the CSI. Mm-hmm. CSI. The crime scene unit. Okay, you um, the you will notice that your backup when it arrives is not from this county. It's from Brunswick County, which is the adjacent county. Uh, I guess Miss Green sent sent them them. Yep. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah I they... tell them to keep a, you know, like we got this, but like be alert. Uh, if this person's who we, uh, you know, we're looking at someone who murdered a girl real bad. So, uh, you know, be prepared. They go, okay. Yeah, we we were told uh, they sent us in because they said, you know, they there might be some involvement with the locals. Yeah, we don't know how, we don't know, but uh, certainly better to keep this close to our chest, huh? So uh, I appreciate it. Hopefully it all go fine. Uh, I got a friend back in the car there. She ain't the, the forward face in sort. If you can make sure that she's safe, if anything goes down, I'd appreciate it, okay? Uh, yeah, sure, okay. All right. Uh, and I'll go up and knock on the door. Okay, um, the door will open. There is an older woman there. She goes, uh, yes, can I help you? May I come in, ma'am? A- Agent, uh, Oliver, FBI. Oh, FBI. Uh, uh, yes, I need going? to speak to you. Well, I need to come inside and have a word with you, if that's okay. Um, okay, just please try not to disturb Miss Dunwood, okay? Miss Dunwood's here. Is Mr. Dunwood here? Uh, Mr. Dunwood's dead. You actually know that. I mean the other, the younger Mr. Dunwood. Oh, Miss, um... Ashlyn. Oh, Ashlyn? Uh, no, Ashlyn doesn't live here anymore. I think he doesn't want to see what shape his mother's in. He lives down on his boat. Ashton lives on his boat. All right. He's uh, still registered his address here. Uh, oh, yes. I'm okay. Sure. Uh, Miss Dunwood is sleeping, you say? Uh, well, she's... She hasn't done so well since her husband and daughter died. You know, she's been... You know, she's just been not quite herself. Um, Ashton's been trying to take care of her as best he can. And he hires me to stay with her, you know, just to... Make sure she doesn't get excitable, or she keeps looking for her husband. You see. Hmm. That in a plane crash, I understand. Ah, uh, yes. That's a shame. Uh, you know, did you happen to see Ashlyn on the night of? And I reel off. You know, the night of. Uh... Oh, um, honestly, uh, give me a luck roll. Uh, where is luck on the sheet? There we go. Failure. Uh, when he comes by, he's usually just sort of distant. You know, he doesn't really talk to me that much. You know, he just comes in and sees his mother, and then he leaves. Uh, and have you ever met a girl named uh, Ashley? Never come here with a girl. Oh no. No. All no, right. I, I don't think he wants any of his friends to see how his mother is. Does he drive a white Porsche? Uh, I believe he's driven one in the past. Um, okay. Yeah. Miss uh, Dunwood is asleep. Uh, well, yes. she's probably too ill to speak to, huh? Yes, she she's resting right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to tell you that if you, if I uh, you your Ashton Dunwood is the suspect in a federal crime. If you make oh, any kind of... I appreciate that this would under- upset Miss Dunwood. Now, I'm informing you that if you were to compromise our investigation into Mr. Dunwood in any way, you could be held on charges of obstruct- obstructing justice. I only say that because we need to go find action and make sure we get all this straightened out. You understand? Uh, yes, of course. So I, if I check, I hope there won't be any phone calls or anything like that, okay? Uh, yes, certainly. Of course not. All right. Just a formality, you understand, but I'd hate to see something happen to hard work such as yourself. 
all right and then uh i'm just gonna leave because i, I don't think it's in character for me to go even though the player in me is like, i really want to see the sick woman upstairs <laughs> what kind of mythos and thing she's got uh the character i don't think would go harass a old sick woman about when a son's there uh, i'm we're gonna go straight with the cops right down to the boat immediately okay uh, and I will let the the others know that that's where we're going. Um. Okay. Um, you get to the um, you get to the boat or the marina. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a security guard standing, or a guard standing at the end of the um, gangway. And when you come up, he goes, uh, "Can I help you?" Yeah, I'm looking for, uh, what's the boat called again? Uh, Rodan's Thought. I'm looking for the Rodan's Thought. Uh, yes, this is it. Is All right, well, I'm going to have to, uh, and I pull out my FBI badge. Uh, and, you know, I have my, my coat drawn with my hand on the holster on the other one. Uh, and I've got the two cops behind me, Sharon in the car still. Mm -hmm. uh, and I say, uh, I'm here to serve a warrant on Mr. Ashland Dunwood. Um... I'm going to have to ask you to step aside, sir. Um, I'm going to have to let him know you're coming on board. No, sir. You're going to have to stay here. Um, he starts reaching for a phone. Uh, sir? And I pull, I, I draw the gun. Uh, and I say, sir, did you think this badge is made out of plastic? Hey, look, I just got to check this, man. Look. No, you do not have to check this. What part of law enforcement don't you understand? Now sit your ass down, or I'm going to take you off on charges of ex obstructing an investigation. Okay, uh, roll some intimidation of some kind. I'll roll persuade, but I mean, if he doesn't, then the cops are going to just... Well, you get a plus up. 20, because you got a gun and a badge, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just realized I'm looking at Jackie's sheet still. Uh, Pocket, by the way, I have uh, changed uh, Jackie's uh, son and everything to reflect things man was not meant to know. So that should all be sorted. Uh, persuade. Da, da, da. And your modifier is plus 20, so... Yeah. Yeah, and he'll go, Oh, okay, man. Sorry. Yep. Put his ass in the back of the car right now, huh? You can wait there. All right. Take his goddamn phone off. One of the cops, you know? We'll... Yeah, one of the cops will take him in. Yeah. He was not armed, by the way, so... He wasn't armed. Well, lucky for him. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, I'm going straight onto that boat with uh, the other cop. Okay. Yeah, we even have a we even have a map of the boat. Oh, nice. There you go. And you have come okay. in. Okay. And you have come in on the deck that has the motorboat lifeboat attached to it because that's where the yeah you know, that's where the water level would be <laughs> mm-hmm that makes sense yeah um okay i uh i tell him to um whistle you know get his like once the, the, the security guy's back in the in the car yeah. And the door's locked. Uh, I get, you know, he's in the back of a police car. Yeah. You can't do much in there. Um, right. I get the two cops, one of them to stay out on the deck mm -hmm. uh, near that motorboat and lifeboat, you know, with the best, like, position to see everything. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to send uh, the other cop. Um, I mean, do I have any, can I see any signs of activity or life? Uh, or yeah, when you come on board, um, a crew member will be walking towards you. Um, yeah. Basically going, uh, can I help you? Is Mr. Dunwood around? Uh, maybe. Who are you and how did you get here? My name is Agent Oliver of the FBI. I need to speak to Mr. Dunwood now, sir. Where is he? And he sort of, uh, goes, uh... Uh, what did I just roll? I rolled a 2 on a D100. Why did I waste that roll, though? He goes, uh, yeah, okay, um, let me, let me show you. And, um, he starts walking towards the front of the deck. Mm-hmm. And he will, um, 
get about halfway down and he will suddenly grab a fire extinguisher off the wall and swing it at you. Oh, I mean, I think we had our guns thingy. I'm going to shoot him. Okay, what's your dex? Uh, I have a very high dex, I think. I have a dex of... Oh, no, I don't. Have I only a dex of 10? I'm not ah, as fast as I actually, his dex is 11, so... Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, his melee is not very good. So... <laughs> He rolls a... Where's, we go? where's my die roll? He rolls a critical failure and actually flings the... <laughs> he goes to swing the, the fire extinguisher at you and flings it over your shoulder and off the boat. Uh, I pull out my gun. Uh, the other cops have got their guns right. And uh, I am just screaming like, Federal agents, down on the ground, now! And he's screaming... It's the fans! Run! <laughs> cool. I'd like to try to hack all the, like, hack if there's cameras on the boat or in the marina. I'd like to hack them all. Or whatever one would be, you know. Preferably okay. the boat. But if there's none, then the, then the marina. Okay. Um, you can do that. Um, also, give me an alertness. All right, one moment, please. We're still doing alertness, alphabetical order. Is there any modifiers or no? Uh, no. Okay. Hey! Um, you are, if you're looking at the map screen, uh -huh. You're basically down at the bottom, okay? The parking lot would be down in this area, down in this direction. Uh, the rest... Um, the um, deputies and... Um, the, the deputies and Jean are up here. You uh -huh. just... You see this window shatter. Uh, is this a what do you do moment? Yes, this is a what do you do. <laughs> okay. Um, the, uh, I get out of the car and I yell to the cop, there's someone getting out over there. Let's catch him. Or something along those lines. That was more FBI-like or NSA-like. <laughs> okay. Um, he throws something out of the window and it lands on the um, dock. And then you see a man trying to climb out the window. And he sees the two of you running towards him. And I keep doing that by mistake. He sees the two of you running towards him. Is it Ashlyn Dunwood by any chance? Uh, yes, it is. And he just easily jumps out from the window, lands on the dock, grabs the thing he had thrown. I shoot at him, but not like at him. You're on the other side. You're on the other side. Oh, so there's uh, the two cops are with me, and well, uh, I got one cop with me, right? You had one of them let stand at the end of the gangway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and The yeah. other one was with so, you. And you had okay. one watching me. Like you said, you put one on watch to make sure nothing happened. Right, the guy at the gangway. Right. Yeah, he's the guy. Yeah, and the other one was with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, hearing uh, this stuff uh, from the other side, uh, is this guy who's yelling, uh, like, putting up a fight when the other cop goes to uh, goes to arrest him? Like, tackle him and handcuff okay. him? Um, the cop can grab him and cuff him if you want to run towards the um, room mm -hmm. the sound is coming from. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you know, if he was still trying to attack us, he obviously would have got a bullet. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, so, uh, um, get, okay, past. give me an athletics check. See how fast you get in there. Not particularly athletic. Oh, athletic enough. Dang. You get into the room just in... He did roll a 22 on yeah, his. You, you get mm -hmm. into the... He, I mean, he did get a crit. 
So you mm -hmm. get into the owner's cabin just in time to see him jumping out of the window. Uh, yeah, I run up to the window, uh -huh. go out, and I yell, Dunwood, freeze! Uh, he... And I let off that shot into the water, I guess. Um, okay, you... Um, he grabs the... Uh, give me a persuaded plus 20. I mean, you're intimidating with a um, gun, but he has a reason. He has reason to not get caught. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was also gonna tell the cop to shoot him, but he's mm. cop with me, so. Okay. Okay, you yelled for the other cop to shoot him. Yeah. Okay, you wanna make his firearms roll for you? His firearms are sixty. All right. So he's uh, just slash roll to arrest him. <laughs> So what's the, oh, what is it? Exclamation D100? You can just click on your character sheet if you've got it well, set up. Well, it's somebody else's roll. Also on the top left, there's a, um, right over here somewhere. There's a thing that has a, um, die. 84. Okay, he missed. But, um, you can see, um, Ashlyn has stopped because, you know, there's been two gunshots and three people now. And, you know, he's insane but not stupid. Can I run and tackle him? Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, make an athletics check or a unarmed check. Whichever one you like. Uh, my unarmed is pretty decent compared to my athletics. Okay. So. You tried to grab him, but he's struggling with... Well, actually, let me see if he crit fails his, which can always happen. 73. Well, he failed by more than you did. So you've got him grabbed, but, you know, he could probably get away if he struggled. I mean, you've got a hand on him. Right. Um... I'm running uh, back around the boat and onto the gangplank, okay. uh, you know, uh, yelling at the cop uh, to, you know, as I yell for the cop, like, help her, you know, like, yeah. cuff his ass. Yeah, uh, you, there's a bunch, you see at least two crew members jump off the edge of the boat and into the water. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll pick them up later if need be. Okay. Um, okay, you will be able to catch up with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, if he's grappling with her, I just put the gun in the back of it into the, into the, into his back and I just grab him, uh, like uh -huh. a choke hold around the neck and I'm just like, yeah. you know, do we and, have and to he's go going, this gun And he's going, do you know who I am? You, you, you won't get away with this. I mean, you, you don't know who I am. I mean, I got friends. Yeah. I know who you are. You're someone who just had one of, who's a member of staff just assaulted a federal agent. Yeah, well, you know, it's, you know, well, you were you were on my private property. You don't have a warrant here. You have no right to be here. Uh, I knee him in the back of the legs, take him down, pry his hands behind his back and cuff him and slam his face onto the pavement, onto the, the gangplank. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not in the mood for any of this nonsense. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I, you know, uh, in the moment of thingy, uh, you know, the guys in the water, right? Like, yeah. uh, I'm hoping that the other cop has pulled their gun out, like, yeah. over the thing and is like, you know, if you keep climbing out of that water, I'm going to shoot you. Uh, you know, if the, if the crew members are motivated enough to risk getting shot, I, I leave that to you. But, okay. You know. Um, we'll, we'll assume that some of them stop and some of them keep running. So there's okay, a total of cool. six. So. Yeah, yeah. If some of them run away, uh, we'll... You know, I'll, I'll do. I'll leave that to the cops to try and find out names, faces, etc. You know, like um, people to do. Like, uh, mm -hmm. what's it called when the cops speak to people? Yeah. Uh, Interview, interrogate. Yeah, yeah. Canvassing. Yeah. Canvassing. They'll figure like, it out. Yeah. Uh, I've got the suspect here. I am, um, and I'm gonna uh, call Jefferson and, and um, update them, and uh, we're gonna take him to the cell. Uh, and I'm going to ask Miss Green, uh, can she get a forensics team down to the uh, to the boat? Okay. They. Uh, um, she says she will do that. Uh, she actually asked you to take him to Brunswick County. Okay. 
as opposed to the local county mm -hmm. because the local county is suspect. Mm -hmm. uh, um, does anybody that? want to do anything to that case he threw out? Ooh. I pick it up and I open it. Uh, yeah, it's not locked. Inside there is a large, well not large, large as in like 11 by 17, not large as in thick, um, book. It has about 30 pages in it. And the cover is unmarked. But the first page says, herein are the whispers of secrets from the shouter beneath the lake. The secrets of the whispers of the shower beneath the lake. Whispered secrets of the shatter, shelter beneath the lake. There's also about a dozen Ziploc bags of some coarse yellow substance. Uh, I have no idea. You know, I, uh, I say, I tell Green when I'm telling enough to get the forensics team down here uh, that we found, and I... You know, I send, like, a picture of the whispered secrets of the shelter in the lake, I suppose. Okay, uh, one page in it is marked. I'm going to uh, Google, basically, super Google that passage, or if there's any kind of author's name or anything like that on it. I'll just read it. Okay. There is one page marked, Okay. All of you should be able to see that in your um, all of you should be able to see that in your handouts now. That is the drawing on the page that is marked. Much like the map. Interesting. Uh, kind of this is the kind of shit that Jackie would eat up. <laughs> uh. I don't see it. I only see the map, the mark. Constellation, map. it's oh, called. Oh, Constellation, there it is. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I think at this point, uh, I'm leaving the vast, the, the bulk of the search of the uh, the boat to whoever can be sent over. We're taking them down to the place, right? Um, yep. My major one is, uh, I just want to have a, a look before we leave in the um, owner's cabin, if there's anything there. And maybe the galley, you know, thinking about uh, what Jefferson and Jet Taylor have been banging on about. Okay. Uh, the galley here has nothing in it. Um, the um, cabin, there's a lot of strange paintings on the wall. You know, they seem to be showing um, weird landscapes and that sort of stuff, but they almost look like props from some science fiction movie. Okay. Um, there's also, um, it's very messy. It's like they he hasn't been keeping it up, like no one comes in here to clean or anything like that. But you don't immediately find anything of interest in here. No sign of Sarah Martin's belongings or anything. Either. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Taking him to Brunswick County, uh, hoping that, um, you know, I think uh, we leave the cops with the Brunswick County cops with um, the handcuffed staff members, okay. uh, and we'll be taking Dunwood there, and we tell them that they need to call him back up from Brunswick County to come and help process the rest. There'll be a forensics team here shortly. Don't let local PD touch this scene. Um, if you talk to Green, she will say that she is sending a forensics team down yeah. from Atlanta. They will be there in several hours. Yeah, yeah I'm, but I'm asking these uniforms to, to mm -hmm. maintain this crime scene, basically, with the people I'm not all that interested in talking to. Okay. Uh, before you know, we, we go, all fit in the clown car. before we go, I'd like to do a sweep of the boat, see if I can find any laptops or phones, things like that, you know, like any kind of like digital devices. Yeah, you can find some of those. All right, so I'll we'll load them into a bag. I'll take them all with us. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we, we drive with uh, Dunwood in the back seat, I guess, like handcuffed. Mm -hmm. Dunwood just keeps 
repeating over and over again, you're not going to get away with this. I, you know, there, I know too many people. They're not going to let you do this. Who do you think you are, anyway? I have friends. Where's Miss Face Box, Mr. Dunwood? <sighs> At her, her restaurant, I guess? I don't know. A message, the other two. I look at, I get Sharon to message the other two that uh, Sparks is at the restaurant, but needs picking up. Uh, and otherwise, I just let him stew in the back seat. I think until we get to Brunswick County, let him ram, rant on, uh, having read his Miranda rights, so he knows what he's getting into. Right? Okay, um, give me a human check or a psychology check, or would it be psychotherapy? One or the other. I'll also allow pharmacy. I got <laughs> pharmacy. I got twenty three percent on my human, so Okay. Oh, I need to scroll down to see that. There we go. Uh yeah. He is simultaneously not very nervous that he's been arrested and really, really twitchy. Mm. Okay. I mean, I didn't think he was, uh, you know, playing with a full deck anyways, so. Um, yeah, I, I guess uh, I'm looking to get us back to Brunswick um, Station, and, um, yeah. And you're there. It's going to be about a 30-minute drive. About 10 minutes after he leaves, he suddenly, in a very calm voice, goes, So, our... Um, Either of you into art? I've seen your work. Uh, can't say it's really my thing. Well, you know, there's there's different levels of art. You know, everybody needs to. The way art works is, you know, it 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 if it brings something out in us. You know, it it generates an emotion, a feeling. And you know, everything does that. Art does that. Music does that. Uh, literature, history. Food and drink, wine, all these things elicit sensations. But, have, you know, you, you, haven't you ever thought that sensations are old? I mean, surely you can't enjoy the same piece of art all the time, so your art has to keep coming more extreme, right? You know? So, yeah, I mean, my art is... The, a normal person would be overwhelmed by my art, but people who appreciate it, who have learned to consider art and are just looking for more and more advanced art, more stronger sensations, greater sensations, you know, that, that, that's when art like mine comes about. It's not for the average person. It's for the true epicure of art, you know. Ah, the Epicure. I hear you're a bit of an Epicurean. Yes. Like I said, art, food, drink, wine, all of these things, they are just, they just provoke feelings and sensations in our bodies. And, you know. You know, I used to be a journalist uh, before I t got into this line of work, and you could write a piece all about your theories on art, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You can make a real good culture critic. Yeah. I mean, it's true. That's why I've been the art. That's why I, I built... Did you know that I created the um, Savannah Artist Cooperative? Because I need to encourage more people to see and experience art. You see, that's what I'm trying yeah, to is do. That, is that what those plaques are about all around town? That's increasing interest in history, yes. You know, I'm trying to just excite more people, and I just need to get more people to open their minds and open their senses and their sensations to what is out there so they I mean, can... I don't see it myself, Mr. Dunwood. A friend of mine took a look at one of your things and that statue, it's quite ugly and uh, the, the things are the plaques, I mean, who cares about those things? They're like, there ain't nothing artistic about them. Oh, it's, it's not the things. It's just the connection to a point in history, to a point in time, to a point in space. You know, all points are connected, you know. Oh, uh, like uh, that piece of, uh, the, that constellation that I saw in your uh, briefcase there. Looks kind of familiar, right? Looks like that map, like your map of your plaques. Of course, as above, so below. 
things will be in, on earth as they are in heaven, and then everybody will have their, will feel their senses. Uh, and I look at Sharon like, oh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon, you uh, want to try your unnatural? Yes. One moment, please. Or a cult, if you want to try. Yeah, I have a better occult. Well, they'll give you different information. Oh, um... You can do that. will tell you what's really going on. <laughs> a cult will tell you what's really going on. better, quote-unquote? Hmm. Um... The truth. Why not? I'll probably fail, but whatever. Okay. Nope. You no, you're a natural doesn't tell you anything, but you can give you an occult, okay, cool, which will give you some more general stuff. Whoa! No, nope. absolutely not. Uh, you're too busy looking at something on your phone. You're only half paying attention to this conversation. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? He's batshit crazy. Uh. Yeah, and as soon as we hit Brunswick, uh, you know, I'm going to let him ramble on about this yeah, kind of gonna, stuff. He's going to keep rambling on along those mm -hmm. lines. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm just keeping him talking until, like, gently until we get to Brunswick, and then I'm going to hit him with the, you know, your missing girlfriend, that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, what, well, when we get to Brunswick, I suppose? Yeah. Yeah. Uh him into an interrogation room immediately. Okay. Uh, don't give him, you know, more than a few minutes, uh, and uh, then come in, sit opposite him, and um, Sharon, uh, you can be behind the glass or with me or whatever you want to be. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, stay behind the glass and try to hack these uh, computers and all the digital stuff and see what I can find. Hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, Mr. Dunwood, where were you on the night of uh, the 7th of March? He goes, oh, look, you can drag me wherever you like. I still don't have to talk until I got a lawyer. Sarah liked. Had a taste for the finer things, too, huh? Um, she was an Epicurean, wasn't she? Yes, she, she understood. She wanted to. She, she uh, I was introducing her to it. I was introducing her to many things. And what was, uh, you know, walk me through. You in? She was at the beach house. She went out to see you, and oh yes, and then she went home. And then she went home. Yeah, that's strange because I can see that uh, somebody in a hoodie and a white Porsche, much like the one that uh, you drive dropped off her purse, keys, and phone inside um, of a vehicle. Yeah, um, uh, um, she, uh, she forgot her purse and just asked us to lock it in her car for her. Hmm. And that was the last, but you were the last, you understand that you were the last person that anyone knows to have seen Miss Martin alive. You must know how that looks, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it, it does, but, you know, when my lawyer gets here, I mean, he'll explain everything. I mean... This seems such a shame, you know? I mean, everything you were saying about art and extreme tastes and... I mean, what they did to that girl, it was real precise. Real, real good work, you know? Clean. I mean, I, I swear, my daddy was a butcher and I ain't never seen cleaning like that. Well, um... I mean, um, I, uh, wh what happened to her? I had just heard that she disappeared. Hmm. Yeah, she disappeared. But, you know, I look at this constellation, I look at that map, and as above, so below? Uh, yes, you know, I mean, it's, it's just 
my way of helping people understand. They they need to understand, you know, the the, the true secrets of sensation. Hmm. Uh, and a thought occurs to me, and I say, I step out of the interrogation room, and I look up the, um, you know, where we found all the murders. Uh, and I look at the check cross. I check, you know, where they were, where they would be like geotagged on the map across the country, uh, across this region of America, and I compare those to the constellation. They don't match up at all. They just they're right. up and down the coast. They map to um, locations where Dunwood Engineering and Design has construction sites. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just wondering if no. you know if we tilted it. It wasn't switched, that. It no, maybe. you don't no. find a correlation there. Good okay. thought, but they don't find a correlation there. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, like, uh, beyond breaking, at this point, I feel like in a legal, ca in a police system, we've got more than enough to hold him, no matter what his lawyers say, he tried oh, to yeah, attack us, he tried to flee, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'd be waiting for the forensic stuff. Uh, I don't think that there's much more. Well, I mean, if I go back in and make a persuade roll or something, can I try and push him for something he, more? I'm going to try and fish him around that arse. He's going to, he's going to be pretty, um, He's pretty much waiting on his lawyer right now, mm -hmm. who is being delayed. But at some point, his lawyer is going to show up and basically say, "You don't say." Uh, you know, I give him the shittiest coffee I can find in between, okay. like the really bad, the bad stuff. Okay. You know, reheated dregs from the uh, with the, all the the bean, the mm -hmm. grinds and stuff in there. Yeah, say, so, you yeah. know, uh, I mean, you know, an Epicurean such as yourself will appreciate this, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, but. Uh, I guess I think my part in this is uh, for now. Okay. Is everybody in Brunswick or is some of you still up in Savannah? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we just called the. Uh, we called. Um, is it Sharon? Not, not Sharon. It's uh, Sonia, uh, mm -hmm. Miss Green, to, to just send the police uh, to uh, from Brunswick to the restaurant and arrest um, Faye. Okay. And then we would and go a forensic team to the house to yeah, and a forensic team to the house, obviously, because there's the evidence. Yeah. Um, and then we would go to um, to see to meet up with uh, Agent Oliver and Sharon. Hold up. We're at least going to take out one of those obelisks first. Okay. What time of day is it? Um, it's several hours later, but it's probably like three or four in the afternoon. Um, so Jackie, what are you, what's the plan here? I look at the map and what is, what is the most remote obelisk on the map? The one that has the le the one that seems likely to have the least foot traffic or attention paid to it. Um, it would be the one, hang on, let me pull up my copy of the map. Um, okay. It would be that one at the um, top right up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. The one that actually I, doesn't have a line connected to it. Yeah. yeah. That's basically an industrial park. Nice. I mean, it's near, what, it's near a club, but it's basically like warehouses and that sort of thing up there. All right. Um, so just to make sure I'm looking at the constellation map correctly, um, it doesn't look. There, it looks like there's a dot cut off at the top, or a line cut off at the top. Yeah, there are lines that go off the constellation map that aren't on this map. Okay. To me, that suggests we don't have a full picture yet. Literally and figuratively. Um, what is the one over at the left in that gray area, just north of the Savannah River, between Talmadge Memorial Bridge, Dick, just to the right of it? Uh, that one's also. That one's not in a warehouse district. That's actually in a industrial district. Right. I point to those two and say, Greg. This one has a line drawn to it. It maps up with the lines drawn on the constellation map. The one over here doesn't. I mean, it, 
obviously there's something else going on with it, but. Out of character, assuming that uh, Gene sent us the picture of the constellation. Yeah, I will assume you people have. Sh I assume yeah. you people share, share all information, the information unless yeah. you yeah, specifically yeah. say otherwise. Um, I, I share all information. Please don't ever share that you're going to go break an obelisk in the thing or <laughs> shoot a lock off a door or stuff like that. Uh, about gotcha. that. So, um, Jackie, I have to tell you, I feel um, uncomfortable um, going on whatever mission this is supposed to be, to you talking about constellations while carrying uh, a firearm. So we can go, we can, we can go wherever you want, but I have to ask you to give me your gun. Jefferson, do I honestly seem Do I seem dangerous to you? Uh, yes. I am uh, like a trained counselor, and I would, in, uh, you know, in, in these very expensive words, call you unhinged and right. dangerous. Yeah. I, I appreciate that you're using technical terms here. Um, That's what I'm paid for. So... Let me instead point out that what appears to be a serial killer has been escalated to DHS as a matter of national security. Yes. We have found a brain in a refrigerator. It appears that there is an organized society of cannibals at work. We have someone running around town putting up obelisks that have very strange pictures taken of them in the shape to match the shape of a constellation. Jackie, that is all true, and I want to get to the bottom of this thing, but you're not helping. What, what you're doing is you're exposing us. Um, you are endangering the um, operation. I want to get down to the thing. It is bigger than I thought, uh, and I, you know, I thought it could be a cult. Um, How about this? Yes. I will promise not to draw my weapon unless you draw yours first. Jackie, I don't think that you can, you know, come truth uh, with your words. I just don't think that you have yourself under control. You are a weapon, and, and we can do whatever you want. We can check out the constellation. We can, you know, draw your line. You are asking me to give up not my only means of defending myself, but certainly a primary means of defending myself. And Greg, you were just arguing with the security guard at the gate instead of going around the gate and walking up to the house. Jackie, because like two minutes later, we would have just entered the house, but no, you have to shoot. He was stonewalling. We could have lost the evidence in that time. I Look, well, I understand how this looks. But I assure you, I am not nearly as unhinged as I might seem to you. You weren't on that dig in Peru. You didn't see what I saw. I'm just saying, I'm not going to uh, any kind of um, public place with you having a gun. Fantastic. It's an industrial park. Greg is, is just, you know, if there's like a... Um, you know, two ways, one is to Brunswick and one is to the industrial park. It will take the one to Brunswick. Jackie, last chance. Pull over. Greg pulls over. Let me know where you're gonna be in Brunswick and I will catch up with you there. It's better this way, Greg. You have full deniability at this point. Jackie, be careful with this gun. There are a lot of you know, people who are innocent, innocent people. There are absolutely thousands of innocent people in this city. Good luck, Jackie. And he uh, drives off. Okay. 
and I call an Uber. Okay. You can get an Uber and it will take you there or wherever you want to go. Um, did we already stop and get the, uh, slide, the sledgehammer from the hardware store? I assume so. I, I think thought we, we went had to one, the yeah. DIY. Yeah, yeah I, I will grab that and ask to be taken to a gas station where I will buy one of those temporary fuel cans and fill it up with gas and <laughs> then go to the obelisk in the industrial park. In the and weird... if the Uber driver says anything, I'm just like, listen, how about I tip you double the fare? And you just listen to your music up there. Um, sure. How weirded out is this guy? Uh, well, somebody just got into his Uber carrying a sledgehammer and a gas can. So maybe he ran out of gas? But why the sledgehammer? Yeah, he's, you know, he also drives an Uber in a party town. So, you know, this may be the third weirdest thing he's seen this week. Could be. Uh, Greg is calling uh, Gene. Okay. Where the hell are you guys? Uh, we have a situation here. Checky is, um, is not under control. Yeah, well, whose fault is that, Greg? Well, I'm... I'm not a babysitter. You're an FBI agent. Come on, get, get over to the station. We just hope that we just hope and pray that she doesn't kill anyone, huh? Or shall I tame her? Nah, I leave it to it, Greg. I mean, you had your chance. You could have just driven off. You gave her the option. <laughs> you couldn't talk it down. I mean, assuming that you know you go over some of the details, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's. You know, I, I think that uh, meta game wise, I definitely I think Puckett's on the on the mission for that, and we've got something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cool. but I think this is very much a scene of we're all like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Greg will say, okay, fuck you, all of them. Come over. <laughs> okay. okay, and uh, then guess... drop. Okay, so you're still heading to Brunswick. Okay. Uh, Jackie. Can your I, your Uber driver decided that this was like the like I said, this is the third weirdest thing he's seen this week, so he drove you there. Abe had a question, it sounded like. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, can I <clears throat> uh, check out that uh, all the stuff that I that I confiscated? Like Oh yeah, you were looking through all that stuff. Um, right. yeah. Um it's pretty easy to find stuff on there. Give me a forensics or a criminology to see how much you get. I wouldn't be using my uh, my, my lead hackster skills. Well, that was just to get into them. It, oh, okay. I'm, like I said, I'm going to tell you what's on them. I'm just wanting to see how uh, many details you get. Oh, nope. Nope. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, um, what you do find out is that, yeah, there's a lot of video footage and a lot of that stuff going on. Uh, they basically had an orgy on the back deck um, of this thing. Um, you do recognize Sarah as being one of the people there. Um, Ashlyn was not the only person she was with. Um, there also seems to be a lot of... Um, some kind of drug going around. Somebody keeps some um, getting, rolling up something in a cone of paper and sniffing it. Okay. Is that, is that, that yellow powder, Sharon? Uh, yeah. she, she couldn't tell because she didn't get a good enough criminology. Right. I'd assume so, though. You know, just on a gut, I'll say yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, could I roll criminology? Uh, yeah. If you, yeah, you know. When neither of us, uh, the FBI agent is not paying attention in class either. <laughs> yeah, I cool. don't know anything right. about this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a there seems to be a lot of sex, drugs, and rock and roll going on in the boat. I mean, this it, uh. 
and you can find other tapes. This has apparently been about a, apparently this is a monthly thing on the boat. Is one of the tapes from that night? Yeah. In fact, yeah. you can. She saw Sarah on it, who seemed uh, yeah. to be, who seemed to be willingly involved. Um, the tapes from the nights. Uh, I tell Sharon to file uh, to you know to, to get the time and date stamps and stuff from as much of the footage as possible. Uh, to provide maybe like a cross reference and see you know see if any of the the, the missing women any of the other bodies that have been identified. Uh, might show up on those tapes, but if they don't, they don't. You know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll but that's like a long. That's I think that's like a long project right. rather than an immediate action. Yeah, I'll uh, upload it to the NSA secure servers and tell them to get the forensics guys on it or the criminology dudes. Okay. To Sharon Green's, uh, to Sonia Green's. <laughs> yep. thing, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Uh, Back to Jackie while we wait for Greg. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay, Jackie, you're at the obelisk. This one, so, shows, this one shows where a horse park used to be. First thing I'm going to do is take a picture of it with my phone. Okay. And check to see if the picture is also in the dark. Yep. And it is? Yep. Sledgehammer time. Okay. I'm going to just hit one side of it until it breaks. Okay. Get Is a, there anything inside it? Oh. Give me either a melee weapon or an athletics. Okay. Two seconds while I clear some stuff out of the way here. Uh, let me see what I'm looking at here. Athletics. What's my athletics at? That is at 60 or melee weapons is at 30. Athletics. Thirty-one under sixty. You've landed a few solid blows on the side of this thing, and I mean, you've heard of the phrase "rock hard," but mm -hmm. it's like hitting a sheet of steel. The thing is just bouncing off of it. You're not even scratching the marble. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Okay, and um, how tall is this obelisk? It's about four feet on one side and five feet on the other. How tall? Okay, so it's slanted? Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and it has that the... brass plate screwed on the top of it, bolted on the top of it. All right, can we just say that I've got, like, you know, a uh, multi-tool in You my stop at a hardware store. You can have whatever yeah. you want. Okay. Um... Because they, we stopped at the hardware store after we saw the obelisk, and we're planning to do this anyway. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to try to start unscrewing the bolts that are holding the pla that are holding the top on. Okay, you can do that. And remove the top. Okay. Find two things. Well, first of all, the thing's kind of heavy. In fact, it just kind of slides off when you take it off. Okay. Uh, you notice two things. Mm -hmm. First. The center of the thing is um, filled with um, cement, like you thought. Second, it looks like there were roots or something growing through the concrete that were attached to the top, but it, they kind of ripped off when you pulled the top off. Roots growing through concrete. Yep. Yeah. And third, the inside of the... Um, on the inside of the um, top mm -hmm. uh, has this symbol painted on it. You should see a strange symbol in your handouts. Looking at it. So I'm going to take a picture of that and then look at the picture. Mm-hmm. Well, beyond the fact that the um, picture is apparently taken at night, because you're still right next to the... Um... Right. So, but the symbol shows up? It just yeah. looks like it's at night? Yeah. Okay. 
I want to take pictures of the roots in the concrete center. Uh huh. And those also appear to be at night, but you can make yeah. out the roots growing yes. through the concrete. Yeah, the pictures are strangely clear. In fact, it's almost as if it's daylight with a night sky. Okay. Um, I'm going to call Sonia Green. Okay. And, and is it is it easy to get in touch with her? Or do I get go through yeah. voicemail or? Yeah, she'll answer you, and she'll go. Uh, uh, yes, Specialist Taylor. What do we? What do you have? <sighs> Sonia, you appear to know more than most people, and I have a sneaking suspicion that you know more about this case than you're letting on. So. I, uh, I, Agent Jefferson dropped me off. I grabbed an Uber to, uh, you mentioned a circuit, so I thought I would disrupt the circuit. And I have gone to a remote location for where one of the obelisks is. Here, let me, let, give me your, are you on a cell right now? Uh, yes. I'm going to send you some pictures. Because there are roots growing through concrete. There's a strange symbol. Everything appears to be as if it's night. And yet, I can't do anything with the obelisk because the rock appears to be impenetrable. It's filled with concrete. And did I mention that there are roots growing through the concrete? Um, do you have biology by any chance? I don't know. I'm, if I do, it's very... Very got it. Low. Four percent. Yeah. So I, that doesn't really mean I have biology, does it? Or do you want me to roll for it and then find out and then just get the uh, bonus? Okay. What is it that you think you have? Uh, there, I have uh, biology at four. Yeah, you can always try. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a failure. But I will uh, check they that. don't look they don't look like roots. I mean roots okay. was the first thing that came to mind, but looking at them, they're not roots. Well, it's something weird, so I'm at least sending that on to her. Okay. Because and, and basically I'm say listen, Sonia Jefferson thinks I am unhinged, uh, wants my weapon. And I have a sneaking suspicion that you have seen more of this sort of oddness than most. So I would like to ask you to send a couple of demolitions teams down here, because that's the only way these obelisks are getting taken out. And since you mentioned the circuit, that's the only way it's going to get disrupted. I we, can't do this with sledgehammer and gasoline. We already have a team on the way, um, and they will be relieving all of you shortly. Um, a team who is more specialized in dealing with this sort of thing. Um, you said you removed the top from the obelisk? Yes. So the symbol here is no longer in touch with it? In contact it is with no it? longer in touch with it. It is actually over here. I was figuring I would just take it with me. Okay. Uh, try damaging the obelisk again. And I'll put the phone. I'll put the phone on speaker. Get you know, get off of the obelisk. Grab the sledgehammer. Start hitting the side of it. What happens? Um, okay. Uh, this time. Make another athletics roll, or uh, this time it starts shattering as you hit it. It just starts crumbling apart. And then these. And, uh, yeah. And then the and then the cement starts crumbling really fast. Like the cement wasn't mixed properly or something. And Rich kids don't know how to do anything, right? And then you get to give me a sanity check. Oh, yay. Which will I be love probably sanity. the last one for the session. Okay, and sanity. Success. Oh, good. You only lose one more point then. Yay. Because... There is a brain embedded, what still looks like a fresh, undecayed human brain, embedded in this concrete. And the roots 
are a nervous system spreading out from the brain. I will take a few pictures of that, and I will tell Sonia exactly what I'm seeing. And she says, um, rendezvous with the rest of your team. We are sending, we have specialists coming in. Okay. Thanks for your help, Sonia. And, uh, and you said could, you, could I ask one favor? You said you had some gasoline there? Yes, I, I've got a can. It's about, you know, it's just like a two-gallon can, temporary. Um, set that brain on fire. I'll do that. And get the name of your Uber driver. Uh, I don't remember his name. I just told him I'd tip him double because he looked at me strangely when I got into Uber with a sledgehammer Be and your, gas. Be on your phone. You can, we can, we'll locate him then. It's your, okay. it's in the app. It gives you the, the driver's name. Like with your receipt. Yeah, at this point, you know, metagaming it, I'm kind of thinking that the specialist team might be a cleanup team. So, you know, I'm trying, you know, so, uh, you know, I'd say, and I, could you do me one favor? Is there any chance that you could contact Greg and let him know that I am kind of actually on point here, that I'm, I have my senses about me and I'm actually doing the sort of thing we should be doing? He's still in FBI mode. And I'm on that dig in Peru that I was on that went horrible mode. We will tell him to come and pick you up where you are. Okay. I, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Hang up the phone and send all of the pictures to everyone and say, along with the text, say, we're probably fucked. Okay. All of you will be contacted individually by um, Miss Green, who will... When I see... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay, go ahead with what you're going to say. Uh, I was going to say, do the pictures of the brains freak me out? Uh, yeah, they would especially freak you out. You definitely okay. need to make a check for that. Okay. A sanity check? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot your background for a second. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's just sanity points? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. critical. Uh, you're almost relieved that, oh God, it's not that one. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Uh, okay, go ahead. All right, go for it. Well, I was going to say, I'm going to tell the team about the knowledge, of, like not my knowledge, but like that I might know what's up with it. Okay, all of you will receive a call individually from Miss Green telling you that um, okay, we have a specialist team inbound. Um, we need all of you to rendezvous and return back to Atlanta. The specialist team will take over the case from here. Uh, this is not a reflection on your work or what you have done. In fact, all of you have performed extremely well at what you have done, but this is a bit above your security clearance at this point, and we have a team who is actually trained to deal with this. So if all of you will just regroup and return, go pick up your teammate who is currently in an industrial park in Savannah, apparently, and return to Atlanta for a final debriefing. I mean, I'd, I'd love to just uh, cut to his driving uh, to that park <coughs> and just like you know the fire and the smoke <laughs> and uh, like Jackie going like do you see do you see <laughs> it's like uh, we look at kind of like the rubbles and the ash and the I, no the I'd just be sitting there smoking and mm. say pull up and one of you gets out just take a drag and say fixed it uh, <laughs> Dennis I shake my head and go past and look at the remains of stuff. Is that enough to prompt a sanity check? Uh, you can tell it's a charred piece of something organic. Inside the statue. That was inside the um, concrete. Yeah, so I know that 
Jackie had to go to some real lengths to fake those pictures then. So this is true. There was a lot of brain in there at one point. Okay. I know this is all true. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. Is the, uh, is, is the symbol destroyed? Nope. No, it, the sigil the is still there. He has it. He still has the plate it was on. She. Let's just, uh, let's go to the debrief, okay? I'm, I'm done with this shit. Come on. On the way there to the debrief, I tell the team, like, uh, I, I've, I'm familiar with, like, I don't have any answers, but I've run across this before, and it's not, it's not good. What do you mean? You, you ran across brains before? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What? It was real bad. What? Uh, Jean, Jean just turns the music up on the thing. <laughs> like, she does not want to hear this shit. <laughs> and, and I say, listen, this is a serial killer, but it's not a normal serial killer. This yeah. is... We'll turn down the volume, and I think they all want to die. <laughs> and... It seems like they want to take people with them. I mean, it was described to us as a circuit. I disrupted the circuit, so I, I, mean, I'm, I asked her to send down a demo team, yeah, and look, she told me to try heading what the sledge after. So, I mean... What, what, what kind of circuit has brains in them? What, look, listen to yourself, and, and give me one of these cigarettes, please. Okay, so let me tell you this. Well, that... Well, that plaque was on the Jack, top of the obelisk. Jackie, I couldn't Jackie, dent it. Jackie, it yeah, slid I could, off. I, look, I, something weird happened, right? It ain't our case anymore. Let's find out what they're going to say at the debrief. I don't know what the hell to make all of it. I'm going to say that, yeah, maybe you were right about something, huh? Okay. But let's find out what the hell Green's got to say for herself, and then we can, I don't know. I'm not sure I ever want to see anybody view again after all this. Frankly, <laughs> it's uh, this is one fucked up case from start to finish. Luckily for you, Gene, I'm reasonably sure that after this, I'm probably not going to be consulting for the FBI. Also, can we hit a bar after the debrief? I'll buy. Hallelujah! That's the first reasonable thing I heard all day. <laughs> Does does any of you have part? a flask? You, you get, uh, somebody's got to have a flask. Come no, on. No, 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 no. Oh. Gene, oh. you're saying no, not at all. Way too much for me. I mean, you're basically no, saying no. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, no, at all. I mean, Gene Oliver is a professional. <laughs> <sighs> Aren't you a journalist? Journalists drink all the time. What the hell's wrong with you? Are, are we at the debriefing yet? <laughs> uh, unless y'all want to have any more banner you want to go continue on with uh, I think we've uh, we've reached the natural conclusion of our various viewpoints on this case <laughs> Okay. <laughs> although Sharon didn't actually say anything hmm. yeah. Sharon told us about how she and I'm currently thinking I've got two of you people in the car with me now Sharon <laughs> seems unnormal um <laughs> You know, Jackie, I used to think you were batshit crazy, but now I believe it, whatever. I'm on board with you. And I'll just, like, you know, reach out my fist and give you a pound. Returned. Okay. Y'all make it back to the field office in Atlanta. Uh, you were directed to a conference room, and there is a tall black woman there. Um, she's wearing, you know, professional, you know, professionally dressed, and she will gesture for y'all, if y'all just, you to sit down, offer you some coffee, and then she'll say, look, like I said, this is not reflecting, of our calling you in is not affecting adversely on what you did. Uh, you solved a case that was more difficult and involved more than you may have suspected. And you did extremely well. Um, 
Now, I'm going to give all of you a choice. You can either congrat. This will go down as a case that you solved. It will not go to trial because the persons involved are going to bail out and then die in a murder-suicide. Um, several other people will simply drop out of sight or disappear. So you will be given credit for the case, but that is how this case is going to end. You will not be called to testify. You will not be called into court. You will not be asked to provide any evidence. You will be asked to, the case is closed, and go about your business. If you want to end it there, you can get up and leave this room now. But things like what you just encountered are not unheard of before. And when they occur, people like me get brought in. And we always want to know when there are more people who can continue to function when encountering things like this. If you want to hear about that, you can stay and talk to me. If we get up and leave this room, are we going to be among the people who die in car accidents? No. Can I make a sanity roll just for the, um, you know, okay. this quite out, outright admission that the U.S. government is going to uh, stage a murder-suicide and all of this huge overreach and everything? I think that's... Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'm that cynical. No. I got a two percent success. It doesn't yeah. doesn't shake. It's uh, it's shaking, but you know I, my worldview adapts to it quickly. Uh, and I just ask Green. Um, does it? Are there more people like Dunwood? More cases like this? Yes. I'm in. I've got to know how this turns out. I'm in. I'm just like, hey, this proves I wasn't crazy that that dig in Peru went down like I said it would. This is, I'm assuming we can't ever talk about any of this stuff, but this Who lets me know you? that I was right. You're absolutely, I'm in. I. I'm sure this won't end well, but... It seldom does. We all got a day sometime, right? Might as well see some weird shit. How about you, Greg? Greg sits there for a moment. Thinks about the, uh, the, the unsolved cult thing. And says, I'm in. All right. The, when the map hit our radar, I'm sure, Agent Lou, you will understand this. When the photo of that map got processed, it um, set off some flags because the pattern on it was known. What mostly concerned us was that the pattern was almost complete. There was only one point left. And if that had happened, well, things would have gotten very dangerous in the city of, Atlanta, of Savannah. That's why we needed all of you to continue your investigation as quickly as you could. We weren't certain whether it was hours away from being finished. That's why we let you finish it instead of the team. The drug that the person was, that you found, it's a substance known as yellow. What yellow does is it enhances all sensations dramatically. Um, the taste of food, the joy of listening to music, the 
intimacy of sex, all of these things become much more enhanced under its effect. But things also start becoming more familiar very quite quickly. Um, the thing that was tasted really good yesterday is old and bland. The thing that you used to enjoy is now commonplace. So you have to keep continuing to up the level of sensation. Uh, beer becomes hard alcohol. Uh, minor drugs become major drugs. Uh, what was consensual becomes non-consensual and painful. And eventually the person hits the point where there is only one taboo left. And that is the consumption of another person. It's the last taboo that gets crossed. What he was attempting to do with the symbol, it would have created a what we call a hypermathematical resonance in the area, which would have affected the mental state of everyone in Savannah. That sensation of being on the drug would have been experienced by everyone in the city and within about 20 or 30 miles of that symbol every single day all the time. Taboos would be dropped, lines would be crossed, the city would have fallen into a bacchanalia of um, sex, drugs, orgies, murders, killings, cannibalism, whatever you think. So spring break pretty much? <laughs> yeah, you can think of it that way. Um, Dunwood probably thought he was actually helping people by doing this. Sounds like it. He was rambling on about that kind of stuff in the car. Yeah, that was probably his functions. Uh, the death of Ms. Martin, um, she may have even volunteered for what happened to her if she had been indoctrinated enough with the cult because the brains in this obelisk were still alive and they were still connected to the sensations coming through that hypermathematical resonance. Oh, say what now? The brains were alive? Yes. How? That's the kind of thing that people like us are trying to stop. Because Do I need to stand that? We're trying to stop it, not figure it out? No, we just want to stop it. Because as long as information like this is out there, the book you found, the words of the whisperer, um, people find these and they learn how to do it. It's, this is why it's a homeland security issue. Someone can read a book and say a few dozen words and unleash the equivalent of an atomic bomb in the middle of a city. And so we're stopping it, not trying to figure it out, because if we figure it out, that means that one of us might somehow go bad and do it. Right. We, <clears throat> that's why this is all getting covered up. We don't want there to be court records connected back to this, because then somebody might research it and figure it out, and then we'll have to do it over again. So I might have to understand that any further work that we do under this uh, remit should be discreet? Uh, yes. We will. Greg over Jackie. <laughs> Greg looks over to Jackie as well. Um, hmm. I look over to Jackie and put out my fist and say, you were right. Give her a fist bump. Fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need to make sure that this stuff gets covered up as much as possible. Um, officially, this will be these people got involved in a cult, they killed someone by accident during one of their drunken parties, and they tried to hide it, 
and when they got caught, they murder suicided. Oh, and it's Jonestown. It's, yeah, that's how we're going to. Cut, that's how the official story is going to be. Um, the less we have anyone looking at strange books and obelisk and that sort of thing, the better off it is. The historical society will it will be suggested that we remove the obelisk so they won't have a connection of this person to them the epicurial society will be disbanded because you know the connection the city count the county council member who was running um interference for their operations will be encouraged to resign What about the other members of the Epicurean Society? Were these the only people who ate other people? We think the ones that were marked in the database were the only ones who actually took part in the cannibalism cult. We don't know how much the other members know, but it's... going to take care of them, then? It's hard to cover up that many people. The ones that we don't know were directly involved were going to or had direct knowledge of what was being done. We're going to try to convince to stay quiet, lest their involvement come out. I'm sure someone like that will commit a real, a normal crime sooner or later. We will. They will have people keeping an eye on them. Yes. So, all of you just go about your normal jobs, your normal business, however you want to do it. But every now and then you will get a mission assignment that will begin with a request to come to a night at the opera. If you ever receive that invite, that means it is one of our missions. You know our mandate. You need to, whatever is happening, you need to stop this unnatural vector that is entering, and then you need to cover it up as best as you can. Hopefully in such a way that it does not let anyone know that something unnatural even happened. All right, then. It sounds totally fucking weird, but... I'm just, and then I just trail off. It kind of twitch a little bit. And I'll look yeah. over at Greg and say, All right, you had a point. I was a little loud. But I wasn't wrong. No, you weren't. No, you won't. I mean, if the meeting is over, we probably go to the bar. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did would I have, when when she revealed more info on the brains? Would that trigger another sanity roll? No. Okay. Well, you're just being told something. It's not something that you're actually seeing or interacting with. Oh, I with. see. Okay. Yeah, well, we have a drink, uh, and I don't think it's a very cheery one. <laughs> um, and, yeah, uh, I, I was curious, are we going to do um, the... personal pursuit? Oh, sorry, go oh, for yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, before, you know, there's drinks poured, um, Greg will say to um, to Jackie, you sure about these? Uh, and points at the, um, at the beverage. I mean, now we Oh yeah, we we upgraded that to a real addiction thing. Mm-hmm. And Jackie told Greg about it, and Greg will say, um, you know, if we're working together, um, I, I need the most stable Jackie that we can get. Because you have an instinct that some of us lack. (sighs) 
It's a hell of a thing, isn't it? I crawled into a bottle for about a decade after that dig. This pops up, and here I am looking at the bottle again. Don't have to. I'll just grab the shot and knock it back. Okay. Give him, uh, since that's a trigger for you, give me a sanity check. And... Success. Okay. You can stop. Only lose one? Uh, no, you don't use, lose. This is to see if you go on an alcoholic bender or not. Okay. You held it together for right now. But I think under motivations, we can probably scratch maintain sobriety. <laughs> it can still be a motivation. I mean, right. um, well, you, can regain, you can regain, regain sobriety. You can, you can regain uh, sanity by pursuing a personal motivation. So it yeah. makes sense to me, you know, if you were to stay temperate in between missions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's a good question. With sanity points, we can regain them. Or they just right. permanently lost. No, you regain them. In fact, by successfully stopping the threat right now, all of you get back. Oh, let's do that one. Well, you only got four back because I rolled badly, but okay. So everybody gains four sanity by successfully stopping that particular. And it's only that because there was no huge um, unnatural or sanity loss threat beyond seeing brains. I didn't actually lose any sanity in the whole thing. Yeah, like uh, I said, there, there were no huge sanity loss points in this. But that was deliberate, least, so. I, I hate every single one, I think. Um, yeah, personal pursuit. Do we do uh, home scenes or whatever it's called? I do home scenes oh. at the start. Okay. Nice. That's just when I do it because you know you're getting the um, call to go in. What have you or what have you done since last time? Now you get the hall call. Do your final. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I think the only thing to add to all of this is that after the drinks and blah blah blah, I'm back at the uh, in Atlanta at the apartment. Um, that uh, Jean has a tiny sample of that yellow powder uh, that she stashes in a, you know, like take under the desk in the back back of a drawer kind oh, of thing. Oh, you kept one? Okay. Yeah. No, not like a full bag, not like a whatever, right? But like I just quickly grabbed like a tiny little sample. Okay, that's fine. In. Like a nickel bag? Yeah, however much, right? Yeah, you can have, you can have that. Yeah. Okay, so are we wrapping this up now then? Feels like. Okay. In that case, uh, you have successfully completed Midnight at the Garden of Ordering Chaos, because the clock was about <laughs> to strike midnight. <laughs>